Good morning and welcome to the Vermont Battery Safety Training Program. My name is Todd Ellis and I am with Call to Recycle Inc. Call to Recycle Inc. is a nonprofit battery stewardship organization with a mission to keep batteries out of a uh, waste stream and have them properly recycled. Call to Recycle works with manufacturers, collectors, battery sorters, battery processors to ensure that batteries are collected in a safe and compliant manner, are shipped properly, and make their way to vetted downstream battery recyclers so those batteries can be recycled, the components of the batteries can be recovered, and those metals can be used to make or used as feedstock to make new products. So what batteries can call the recycle collect? We can collect all rechargeable batteries under 11 pounds and those specific chemistries or types of batteries include nickel metal hydride, small sealed lead acid batteries, lithium ion batteries. In the state of Vermont, Call to Recycle can also recycle any primary or single use battery that weighs 4.4 pounds or less. So those are your typical AA, AAA, Cs and D batteries both alkaline as well as lithium metal batteries, as well as coin cell and button cell batteries. Vermont was the first state to enact a primary battery or single use battery stewardship law. The law went into effect in 2016. This law requires manufacturers to have a plan approved by the state and to also fund the collection and the recycling of single use batteries. Therefore, consumers and collection sites can collect and recycle single use or primary batteries at no cost. Call to Recycle does hold the only approved state stewardship and recycling plan. And last year, a through Call to Recycle, Vermont recycled nearly 150,000 pounds of single use batteries in 2022. With battery collection, the predominant battery type or chemistry that you will be seeing and is also in the marketplace are lithium batteries. There's two types of lithium batteries. The first is a lithium metal or lithium primary battery. These batteries have a lot of power and also are sold uh, next to the regular C and D and AAA and AA batteries. They're typically silver or have a blue ribbon around the battery itself. These batteries can be recycled through the Vermont Battery Collection Program and Recycling Program. These batteries will not have any recycling chasing arrows, recycling arrows on them, but they're typically marked with a CR and then a series of numbers. The second family of lithium batteries are lithium ion batteries. These are rechargeable batteries. These batteries are typically marked with the three chasing recycling arrows and on them they will typically have an LIR and a series of number after those. These as well as lithium metal, the lithium ion rechargeable batteries can be recycled through the Vermont battery program. As we have seen the arc of battery evolution over the last 10 or 15 years, lithium powered products lithium batteries are the predominant battery chemistry being recycled. These batteries, these lithium batteries power our laptops, our phones, most electronic devices, and now are powering vehicles. So with great power comes great responsibility for us to handle these in a compliant and safe manner at the end of their useful life. So this is an example. We've often talked about, you know, the safety around battery recycling. So what does that mean? What does it look like to have a quote unquote thermal event, which is a fancy term with the battery industry for battery fire? This is just a simple push pin. You can see that the individual pushes it there and this is a thermal event. That smoke that looks like smoke is actually flammable gas. Um, and you can see how quickly that goes into thermal runaway once that push pin is uh, pushed further into the battery itself. So this is what we do not want to see. These are the things that we're trying to protect against happening because oftentimes when a battery does go, it's not sitting nicely on a dolly. It is typically next to a pile of paper or plastic or other batteries that can catch on fire as well. So the state of Vermont has purchased a number of battery safety products for the household hazardous waste facilities as well as the SWIMI transfer and recycling stations. The first product is what we refer to as a lithium ion 
battery incident kit. So this kit is modeled after many other emergency response items. So think of a eye wash station, think of a defibrillator hanging on the wall. This is a wall mounted kit that can be hung near your battery station or where batteries are being collected or even your tipping floor. It's the fastest possible way to deploy these fire suppression tools. This product has a case. Again, it's wall mountable. It includes PPE, which are the goggles and the high heat gloves. There's also a fire suppressant pillow inside and then a blanket. So essentially, if there's an incident, you open the case, put on the PPE, take the fire suppressant pillow and blanket, put the fire suppressant pillow on the device or battery that's uh, going or about to go into thermal runaway and then cover that with the blanket. The pillow will actually extinguish the fire and then the blanket will help contain any flames. So really great product and really great opportunity to have these items and tools readily available if something were to occur. Now, damaged, defective, or recalled batteries. You know, damaged batteries, there's been a lot of discussion of sort of what is a damaged or defective battery. We look at it from a perspective of, does the battery look damaged? Damaged, defective battery in this context is not a battery that no longer holds a charge. It's basically something to say, has the battery been damaged? You know, is, is it more likely to go into thermal runaway, you know, or have a battery fire than not? So is it swollen? You know, is one of the cells puffed up? Is it cracked? Is it somehow broken? You know, those are the batteries we want to be aware of that we need to handle in a different fashion. They can't go into the normal call the recycle collection stream. We need to handle those differently. And this is one of those ways to handle those damaged effective batteries. This is a, a collection container that allows you to safely and compliantly ship damaged defective batteries uh, back for recycling. It ships under a US DOT special permit, which eliminates the need for some of the, or the battery shipment to go as a fully regulated hazardous material. So this is a really great, easy tool to have. Should you get one of these batteries, you open the kit up, you pull where it says that red little tab that says pull, you just pull that up, put the battery in between, lay that back down, close the box and drop it off at UPS or hand it to them next time they're at the, the facility. And that will be sent to us directly for recycling. Again, this is a really great opportunity to you know, collect and ship these batteries, get them out of your facility and have them properly recycled. Now, the larger facilities or the HHW facilities will be getting some different storage options for damaged batteries. They may see more of these batteries as their facilities uh, see more residents. Two of the items that they're getting, one is a five gallon container and then the other is a 55 gallon container. Each container comes with Cell Block EX, which is a dry agent fire suppressant. So a few slides ago when I was talking about the wall mounted lithium ion battery incident kit, and I mentioned um, that fire suppressant pillow, inside that pillow is what you see here, those white granules that you're seeing here. Again, it's, it's a dry agent fire suppressant. It's 100% recycled glass. So when the battery, if a battery goes into thermal runaway, it actually encapsulates the battery and suffocates the fire and extinguishes the fire. So these two containers are not for shipping damaged batteries, but they're actually for storing damaged or batteries that are in question. When dealing with damage effective batteries, it's always best to err on the side of caution. So if it doesn't look right or you suspect something, I would clearly put that battery in here for storage purposes. High energy batteries, you know, as we have seen sort of the evolution of batteries and, and products powered by batteries change over the years, you know, the first iteration of rechargeable batteries was really focused on power tools and cordless power tools. And now we're getting into a space where, you know, frankly, no one ever, you know, five, 10 years ago, no one anticipated these products being powered by batteries, electric bicycles, outdoor power equipment. And essentially those batteries are being powered by lithium ion rechargeable batteries, but oftentimes very powerful ones. We refer to those 
most very powerful ones is high energy batteries. High energy batteries are defined as batteries over 300 watt hours. And the way to figure out the watt hour of a battery is to multiply the voltage by the amp hour. So on the battery, it will say, uh, for example, 40 volts and then eight amp hours. So you you will be able to find that information, multiply the two, and it will tell you, you know, if it is over 300 watt hours. If it is under 300 watt hours, you are able to place it in the normal or traditional call to recycle collection box. If it is over 300 watt hours, that battery needs to go in high watt hour lithium ion battery recycling kit. This kit holds up to 26 batteries and can take a cumulative, so a total watt hour of 3,600 watt hours. So this kit is for batteries over 300 watt hours, works the same as any of our other kits, properly package the battery in the box. It does come with a prepaid UPS shipping label, which you'll be able to ship back. And again, you just drop that off at the UPS store or hand it to the UPS driver next time they're at your facility. This is a great, easy solution to managing these batteries and getting them properly transported and recycled. This has really been a great tool. A um, number of different facilities across the country have used uh, this tool to deal with high watt hour batteries as we're starting to see the first generation of those batteries come out of the market. And also a, a big thank you to State of Vermont and a big thank you to Mia. Uh, this is a, a terrific opportunity for all the different transfer and recycling facilities in the state to receive these products. Um, if you have any questions about batteries themselves, any questions about how to use these products, please do not hesitate to reach out. My email is here. Again, my name is Todd Ellis. My email is tellis at call the number two recycle dot org be more than happy to walk you through the products on an individual basis or uh, any answer any questions you might have around batteries thank you very much and have a great day